Hi, it's Jessica DeMassa with Hims TV. I'm here right now with Kamal Obad. He is the CEO and co-founder of Nebula Genomics and also the winner of the Health 2.0 launch contest. So tell us a little bit about the contest and then we'll jump in and talk yeah, to you about so what you guys do. So for Health 2.0, they had 10 companies come on stage. We, had, we did a three and a half minute pitch to an audience. Um, and then at the end of it, they had an audience vote for what was the most interesting company. Okay, and uh, we you were, were it. Yeah, we were lucky enough to win. Okay, yeah. fantastic. So tell us about your very interesting company. So Nebula Genomics was founded last August. Um, not last August, August 2017. Okay. Uh, and we're building a data sharing platform. So we use blockchain to help you secure your health data and share it with researchers. Um, we're building encryption tools so people can share their health data without okay. ever having a third party download it. So what this means is you can have a researcher essentially run analysis on your genomic data and all they get back is the results. They never actually see the plain text information. Oh, that's really neat. And so yeah. what kind of, where are you guys launched at so far? Have you like rolled out in any hospital systems or where are you yeah. guys, who are your customers right now? So right now we're doing a, a pilot with a large pharma company. Okay. Um, and what we're doing for them is they wanted to recruit some patients for a clinical trial. They wanted to collect some genomic data and uh, be able to securely store it and securely compute on it. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that's the first pilot we're currently doing. Um, we're working with some advocacy groups as well to build essentially community-owned databases where patients can come together, collect their health data, share it on some decentralized infrastructure, and have control of how it's being used. And what's been the response, I guess, on both sides of it, with yeah. the, both the, the people working with this and the patients? What are they saying? Yeah, I mean, people have been excited. Uh, blockchain's been a buzzword over the it's past such a, year. We're going to talk about that in yeah. a second, so, so keep going. <laughs> people get excited to try it out, and I, I think um, a lot of personal genomics companies today take ownership of your health data, resell it, and you don't really know how it's being used. Right. So this use case of you're really controlling the access to it, having a trustless way of storing it has been compelling to a lot of different users. On that point of blockchain, I mean, we, I think, you know, we keep even hearing it here, yeah. you know, people talking about, like, there's no real good use case yet at a big scale for, for blockchain. So sure. what would you say to that? So I, I, oh, I have to disagree with that. Uh, there, Blockchain has good use cases. It's overhyped for certain things, mm -hmm. but it has good use cases where you're trying to increase efficiency in a system, right? So right now when you are selling health data, you typically have uh, data brokers that are collecting data from patients and then reselling it later. Yeah. So this leads to a lot of inefficiencies, higher prices, a lot of data is fragmented, siloed. But if you can remove the data broker part and just have patients owning the data directly and sharing it using the same infrastructure and the same network, and that's something that's a lot easier for both sides of the marketplace, right? Are you looking to compensate patients yeah, so, so that they're they can able, sell their data? Yes, yeah, so you can get monetary rewards for your data if you want. Okay. Um, that's not our core value prop, though. You're able to, the more access you give to your data, the more rewards you're able to get in return. So this includes services like sequencing um, or different types of analytics. Okay. Uh, so I, I think there's different, people have different incentives to mm -hmm. want to share their health data. Some people want to monetize it. Some want to participate in research. And some think it's cool to, collect all their data in one place and get all these analytics, insights, free services based on top of that. All right, now let's pivot a little bit and talk about your company. Sure. So tell me about where you guys are at. Are you, are you raising money? How, how yeah. far along are you? You said you were about a, a little yeah, over so, a year so old. So we're a little over a year old. We raised four and a half million so far already. Okay. Um, we're growing pretty quickly. We, we closed our seed round just about a month ago. Okay. Um, raised from a bunch of biotech and, and tech VCs. We're building out the team right now. We're about 10 people and hoping to grow. All right, and what's next for you guys? So we're going to do our broader public launch um, sometime in the next month or so. And what does that mean exactly? How are you launching to the public? So we're going to release it. Right now we've been doing this pilot with a pharma company. We've been doing private demos and, and uh, private betas, essentially. So we want to launch a direct-to-consumer public version where we're actually going to offer genome sequencing. Um, and people can start sharing their data on our platform. All right. Are you going to compete with 23andMe? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I think we're uh, 23andMe is probably our biggest competitor right now, right? Mm -hmm. We want to be... Uh, the opportunity here is being a direct-to-consumer yeah. personal genomics company. So our goal is, you know, how can we get everyone in the world sequenced? How can we provide the right incentive mechanisms to get you to share your data? How are um, you guys handling privacy? Because they just, I mean, we're under yeah. fire for yeah, yeah. more so, of the, the issues with privacy and not letting yeah. people know that their data was being shared. So how are you guys handling that? Yeah, so we don't store any data ourselves. Okay, um, it's all on blockchain. Yeah, it's on blockchain. <laughs> yeah. So, so we do the sequencing, we give you the data right back. Okay. Uh, and then you're able to do whatever you want with the data. So the interesting thing about having you know, a, a decentralized blockchain platform is people can store the data wherever they want. So you can store it in Google Drive, you can store it on your own hardware, um, you can choose to let people have access to it or not have access to it. It's really completely up to you. So Are we're you not... guys doing anything to help people get ready for the responsibility of managing their own yeah, data? Because yes. I mean, that's a really big responsibility. No, it's a good point. And, uh, you have your whole genome on your Google Drive. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a good point. Um, even, even consent is a little bit of an issue, yeah. right? Because mm -hmm. how do you give consent for people using your health data? Some people don't understand what the consent even means. 
Um, one of our co-founders, George Church, runs the Personal Genome Project, which is is this nonprofit that has the goal of you know building this open source health database where they got tens of thousands of people to share genomic data and health data. So similar to what we're doing. Right. Um, and they had these pretty stringent mechanisms to make sure everyone got the right consents and understood what's happening with their data. And we're, we're employing something similar as well. Uh, so you have to just demonstrate that you have an understanding of how your DNA can be okay. used and what it's going to be used for. So you are doing a little bit in terms of education. On yeah, the yeah. So we have to educate order, people right. yeah, on, well, on two yeah, fronts. Sure. One, to convince you that it's worth sharing your genomic data, why is yeah. it valuable, and two, you know, where are the risks, uh, should you be doing it, what are the things to consider before you give someone access to your data. This is really exciting. Congratulations yeah, again on you. winning the launch contest. And it sounds like, I mean, like, I, I'm excited more so, I think, about the use case of, of blockchain and healthcare that you're going to take and scale so that yeah. we can all, you can prove everybody that it works. Yeah, that's the goal. <laughs> that's the goal. I'm Jessica Damasa here with Kamal at Health 2.0 for Hims TV. Thanks so much for joining us.